Hello, in this video I want to show you how to publish Maven package to a single GitHub repository. Publishing a package on GitHub allows it to be used as Maven dependency from anywhere. In our demo we will deploy a simple Java library that provides various I.O. utilities. So this is the project that I created with few annotations. One class, it allows to annotate a class with this annotation for example to inject value from property files into the fields so i i use these tools for example if i'm not using spring Boot or or any other uh, framework first we create a github repository and next we implement a maven project afterward we generate a personal access token in github and then we configure maven to deploy the package so let's get started so first First, let's have a look on my GitHub repositories. So as you see here, I have this one Tramo tool and it has this icon package. One package is deployed. So if you take a look here, if you click on package, you see that this one, let's click on it. You see that you need only to add this dependency to your project. You have also to add GitHub repository to your POM file. So I will show you later how to do that. So first let's create a new project and we call it Tramo Demo and the project should be public. So otherwise you cannot publish a package. So we create the repository. So this is the link to your, so let's copy it and clone it locally. So a project has been created and now the my library i have already created the library so all we need to do is to copy it i prepare it from here so i have copied everything here now we will open this project in intellij so this is our project let's add everything here and we commit the change So now we have committed the change to our repository. We can check that here. Let's see. So this is our repository. So now if you see here at the right of the page, publish your first package. So here there is some information. So if you click on it, you get just some information how to do that, a page maven. Now what you need to do is in your project, if you go to the POM file, you had to add some information. So as you see here, this is the most important one, distribution management. You should tell maven where to deploy the package. And this is the link. So the link consists of this part is fixed and this is your username and this is the repository. So this is all you need to do. However, to, to be able to deploy, you need to configure the credentials. So let's create the credentials, a token. You cannot use your normal username and password. You need to create a token. Let me show you how to do that. Here we go to setting after that. You scroll down developer setting and you need to go to personal access token here and you click on token classic. So there is two possibilities. We will use this option, this one, because this is still in beta. Just click here. We call it demo token, the name expiration once. So, and this, there is one important thing that you need to adjust, namely this one, you have to activate this update github action workflows and this is the most important one so you should enable this token to upload packages so this is the most important one and we generate the token and as you see you you need to copy the token as soon as possible otherwise you cannot so now we will add the credential to our maven installation let's move first here say the to your M2 folder. And here I have this setting. So we will adjust or add this credential in our setting. And in server, I already prepared this GitHub. So all you need to do is to add this information to your existing servers. So here the ID is GitHub. So Maven will automatically pick up this one. And here you put your username and in the password you need to put the token 
just generated. So not uh, the password, but the token. So we do that. This is the token and we save. After that, we go to our projects folder again, GitHub. To deploy the package, we have already configured Maven. We already told Maven the location where to load the package. Let's check our project. We change to the main folder. Here is our pom file. So now we can run this Maven command deploy. Let's see. As you see, it is working. Now it is deploying. The package has been deployed and we can also check here. Let me show you here. We go to a repository. And as you see, this one has also a package deployed and you can use it in your project. However, to use this package, you need to do the following. I have another project here called REST API client. So this one, to be able to use that package, you have to define the repository. To add the repository to your POM file, this one, as you see here, this is the URL. As you see, this is the user and this, this is the repository. So I, I use this package, for example, as you see, this is a configuration. This is what I created. Let's see. They are from the e tramo annotation. We, we can change to the local repository and remove that package from the local machine. Now we go back to our project. Now IntelliJ is complaining that this annotation or this package is not there. So let's see what happens when we issue this command, clean and install. And as you see, Maven will use the defined repository, our GitHub, and load the needed dependency. And now IntelliJ is no more complaining. So I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching and bye.